Owners of Titan Medical Center, John and Cherie Sikoris, took a trip down to Moore Capital to meet with Rudy Moore to review some programs that will strategically grow their brand exponentially. We had a very productive meeting in which we were able to discuss a wide variety of different options. We also went over some plans and exchanged ideas. Moving forward, we're very excited to see Titan Medical Center's continued progress and growth. Just got finished with a meeting from Rudy, and man, there was a lot of stuff laid on the table. Really, really cool things, I think, yeah. that will help Type Medical Center grow and be bigger and better. So at that point, I'm, uh, I'm anxious to see you know, what we're gonna be doing here in the next six months. Um, depending on what program we go with Rudy, because there's a couple different um, options on the table we wanna do. Um, but you know, I'm excited. You know, I definitely trust Rudy. He's done a lot of great things and big things. And he's working with some other big clients too as well. So. I'm excited to see where Type Medical Center can go and hopefully to the top, right? Or way above the top than where we're already at. Way beyond rocket ship style. Monolympus style, let's go. So fall Titan, follow our journey, and let's see what we can do. So you may fall in one of these categories, or you may fall in a lot of these different categories that I'm gonna name right now. And that's low energy, low libido, horrible mental focus or concentration, not being able to gain lean muscle mass, losing muscle mass. Maybe you're gaining weight, and you're doing everything the exact same as you used to. You're training the exact same, and you're eating the exact same, but something is going wrong, and you just don't know why. That's when you really have to look inside at your hormones because this could be a hormone deficiency. And when those hormones over time start taking a dive, so does the way that we feel and our health and all these things that we named. That could be one thing or could have been all these different things. If you said yes to these things, you need to do an in-depth blood test. And with Titan Medical Center, like I said, we look at all these things from your free and total testosterone levels, your estrogen levels, progesterone levels, growth hormone levels, B12 levels, and we're always gonna hit a full thyroid blood test for you too. TSH, T3, and T4. We also wanna look at a comprehensive metabolic panel, your liver, your kidneys, electrolytes. If you're a male, we wanna look at prostate. Females, we wanna look at DHEA. There's so many different things that we can look at to help you guys, to make sure that things aren't in a decline or deficient that they're optimized, right? That you're feeling, looking, and performing your very, very best. Titan Medical Center can help you along with this blood test anywhere in the country. And it's like a roadmap for what's going on inside your body. And this GPS signal will tell our medical providers what you need to feel and look and perform your very, very best every single day. All you have to do is take that first step. Contact us, call or text 727-389-3220. Check out our YouTube page. Go over there and subscribe and see all the great content videos that we're producing for you guys. From educational videos to our medications and therapies or how to use them and all the other cool stuff that we're doing on the outside. So guys, don't delay. Call or text us today so you can start being the best version of yourself. Mostly what I do use is the ECAs and I absolutely love them. I love that I've been able to actually come completely off of pre-workout. I love the energy. I love that I don't have a, a crash. I don't get jittery um, feelings. Uh, it also doesn't uh, exasperate my heart condition, which is a, definitely a bonus. <laughs> um, and I'm able to get in a really awesome heavy workout throughout the day as a personal trainer. I'm pretty much going for 10, 12 hours, 
working out with my clients. I work out for myself. And uh, with the ECAs, it's helped me to lean out. Uh, great, really great. I'm loving the results and enough that I'm doing a co contest now for Maximum Cover Girl. So yeah, I love it. <laughs> really excited to try more therapies down the road. I have to say the before and after uh, was actually, it was really impressive, the results that I got from it and being able to noticeably see the difference uh, in the pump and the volume, the definition that I got from using Hercules on a workout. I love being a part of the Type Medical family. Uh, John and Charisse are amazing. I love the personal touch that they add uh, with everything, actually asking how things are going. Um, they really care and for me being passionate and invested in what you're doing and what, what you're putting out there means more to me than just um, you know having a name and uh, an idea this one they're they're passionate about it and they care and not very many people do that um, to that level of quality anymore so being able to be a part of a company that really cares about their clients and customer service is amazing and I look forward to continue working with Titan Medical for years to come. So, you're looking for weight loss. You just don't know where to find it or how to achieve it. Don't worry because Titan Medical Center is going to be your guide and direct you on the healthiest possible way for you to lose weight and transform your body to where you want it to be. Don't worry about it. We have all the tools in our arsenal to defeat fat, okay? We wanna help you guys with your weight loss transformation. And some of these different things out there can help in a number of different ways, not with just weight loss, but it can help you with your true health all the way around. So we know that if you're obese or overweight, this can possibly bring more health issues down the line if you already don't have those health issues now. And we don't want that. We're all about prevention, right? Preventative medicine and anti-aging here at Titan Medical Center. We wanna turn back the clock, but part of that is being healthy. And if you're overweight or obese, you know that that cannot be healthy for your body. And the longer you stay like that, the longer that you may have a higher risk of these things happening to you, like diabetes type two, cardiovascular disease, and much, much more. So do not delay on your weight loss transformation. Don't get down, don't get frustrated, right? It's the beginning of the year, so you guys can make a true change for yourself. And like I said, don't worry because Type Medical Center is, has all the knowledge that you're gonna need and will direct you on what is the best possible plan of action for yourself. So set yourself up for success and not failure. Call or text us today, 727-389-3220. If you wanna check out some of these awesome weight loss therapies, you can go to typemedicalcenter.com, which is our great website. and has all the different therapies on there. Or even discuss these more in detail on our YouTube channel. Just go over, type in Type Medical Center, press the subscribe button, hit the bell for all notifications, and you guys are good to go. I appreciate it, and we look forward to helping you be the best possible self and create that weight loss transformation that you've always been dreaming for. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are here with another Tight Medical Movie Review just for you. <laughs> That's right, this week we went and watched Renfield. So Renfield was the story of Dracula played by Nicolas Cage. And we know how charismatic Nicolas Cage gets with some of his roles. And he goes really, really in depth in a lot of his roles. And he didn't disappoint in this movie at all. Oh, he did good. You know, so, you know, Renfield was about, you know, the person Renfield who was a servant of Dracula and going through all these different issues by himself and of course having Dracula there too as well to bring in some uh, some extracurricular activity some gore and all the great things that come with vampires and Dracula so you got to see the movie don't just imagine what it could be because you know what it was a pretty gory movie I thought yeah you definitely don't go by the trailer because the trailer was not good the trailer definitely made me think it was gonna be another one of those really cheesy you know uh, vampire movies yeah. And uh, surprisingly enough, because I love violence, um, you know, surprisingly enough, there was lots of blood and yeah. gore and lots of violence in this movie. Yeah. So it was great. 
it was good. It, you know, the characters were good in the movie, had a good storyline. It wasn't some stupid storyline that didn't tie together. So everything was pretty good. Um, you know, if you guys got some time, you guys like Dracula, you like Nicolas Cage, this is definitely a good movie to go check out. So for the ratings, um, this one I'm going to give out of five stars, I'll give it a 4.4. He's so generous. All the time. Oh, it's not a five. It's not a four point eight. Not a four point nine. Yeah, that's true. There's lots of points in there. Um, I'm gonna go with a three point five. Wow. Yeah, I mean, listen, there, it's not a two point five. It's not a one point five, right? Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know. I gotta go a little bit <laughs> better than that. I gotta go a little bit better than that. There's but a lower to go. It is what it is, I hey. guess. <laughs> So listen, guys, go check it out this weekend. Of course, we're always going to watch the movies and give you our honest opinion on it. You're going to love it. Check out Renfield this weekend. What's up guys, John here from Titan, and it's officially summer out. Sun is shining, it's a beautiful day. I'm getting my summer body on. I hope you're getting your summer body on. And we're sitting in the pool enjoying some, some sunlight, catching some vitamin D out here, and I'm getting active. Uh, it's important for you to share this knowledge or information with your kids about good diets, exercise, and living an all-around healthy lifestyle. It's very important for them and their ongoing years. And it'll be important for you too to make sure that your family's healthy and they're educated. Hey guys, I'm Sharice. I'm one of the owners of Titan Medical Center. Now, even on vacation, I'm still working. And when I'm working, I'm working. That's how that works. <laughs> but that's what I do for my patients. You guys are family. I've been doing this for seven years, going on eight, and I do it every single day, 24 hours a day for you guys because I love you. So thank you guys for all the support and I'm just gonna continue working. It's what I do. Hey guys, I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're the owners of Titan Medical Center. Today we want to talk to you about weight loss. It's the most common question that we get. John, how do I lose weight? And the answer is, is we have a number of different therapies at Titan Medical Center that will help patients. And losing weight is not only good for the outside look, but for the inside health, like high cholesterol, high blood pressure, diabetes type two. There's a number of different things that go along with weight loss. So with weight loss, we have a number of different options and it depends just on the patient. It could be our injectable vitamin amino acid therapies, it could be our ECA stand plus, it could also be our Titan fat burning cream. Now everything we do, you have to remember, is specific to the patient because the same thing that worked for Bob is not gonna work for Billy and the same thing that worked for Mary isn't gonna work for Jojo, that's how it works. So the ECA stacks are awesome and the injectable fat burners are awesome as well, but I always say, do not put a band-aid on a bleeding wound. So what does that mean? If you have not had your hormones checked, and let's say you're retaining a little bit of belly fat here, you can't get that weight off and it's stubborn, and let's say you have been working out, you have been doing cardiovascular things and weight lifting and all the other good stuff, and you're just not losing the weight. Maybe it's a hormonal imbalance. And if you don't fix the hormones, which could be an underlying issue, you're gonna have a problem losing the weight. And then you'll just put a band-aid on a bleeding wound and you really might just get some short-term results or you may not get any results. The whole point is to have good results and have those results last. So it's important that you hit all of these different things. And again, I'm gonna say, we don't do the cookie cutter stuff. Everything that we do is customized to the patient. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to know more about our weight loss therapies or any of our other Titan therapies, all you got to do is call or text 727-389-3220 or check out the website www.titanmedicalcenter.com.
What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my beautiful little wife over here are bringing you guys great information, tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully excite, entice, and hopefully enhance and improve your relationship to a whole new healthy and positive level. And through this, we have all our great tips and information that we've gathered through the great years of our 14 years of being together. Wow. And all our 14? friends. Is it 14? Uh-oh. Is it 14? How no, it's 14. Years? 14? Yeah. Or 15? 14. 15. I think it's going on 15. 15. You made me fix the picture. Okay. <laughs> 15 years. Wow. We're even. Corrected. Yes. Yes. We're even. <laughs> even. <laughs> so not only are you guys getting our valuable information through the 15 years, mm -hmm. but we're also giving you guys good information we might have picked up along the way from other people or other couples or things that we've seen. So, with no further ado, we want to get into tonight's tips and tricks for you guys, or today's, I should say. And last week we showed you date night with miniature golfing. This, again, will be another date night situation scenario. It's definitely awesome. Because we want to show you a little bit of one end of the spectrum to another end of the spectrum, right? right? Something like mild to wild. Right. So, miniature golfing, it's kind of quiet out there. You guys are talking, maybe having some cocktails. That's cool. You guys are getting to interact like that, right? Getting to talk and bond like that and, you know, have a little competitiveness while you're playing miniature golf. Really cool. You guys can have some food, chill. But on this other end of the spectrum, what else does make you happy? And there's a couple different things that, you know, stir up emotion. One is music, mm -hmm. right? Everybody is driven by music. When you watch movies, those are driven by music too. Some of the parts you watch, you know, they're not even saying anything and it's probably would be a dull shot without the music or be hot without the sound that's behind it, right? right? So even when you're working out, it gives you different energy, maybe motivation. It can make you emotional. When you maybe listen to your, your favorite breakup song in the car, you females, and you guys are crying, or, or you guys. Or biscuit on the way. Ah! You're, you get in the mood, you're like, I'm going to kill it. You know, so music drives it, right? And then obviously the other thing would be, would be dancing. Now there are people out there that don't like to dance or think that they can't dance. Right. Well, dancing is just an expression of yourself moving to the music that you hear or the rhythm. And you might not have rhythm, but that's okay. You can learn a couple different steps where you can go out and enjoy yourself and not look dumb on the dance floor. <laughs> you don't have to do a whole bunch of different things to look cool out there on the dance floor. I don't need to break dance out there with a hat, you know, yeah, spin around in yeah. circles. Even the girls, right? You don't have to break it down and twerk to get on the dance floor. I mean, right? it's nice if you can, though. I guess for the guy, maybe. <laughs> in certain situations, scenarios, right? But, you know, I mean, there are different forms of dancing, too. So when you start getting serious, you do some professional dancing. Salsa. You yeah, do all kinds of dancing. Yeah, the waltz. I mean, all these different. So yeah. it's not that, right? Yeah. So what we did was, was this last Friday, we had a Titan event along with Dom Dalla, who is a big EDM DJ. So yeah. it's a big house DJ. And they had it here in Tampa, Florida. Big shout out to Pipe Piper Productions, Mike Piper, Corey Arena, and the whole crew that put it on. It was amazing. We were worried about rain the whole night. Oh, Hopefully God, it didn't it. rain because it was an outside event. Yeah, we got and lucky. Florida, it was supposed to rain that whole week. And it's supposed to mess. rain all day long that day. Mess. Luckily it didn't, thank God. And we got to go out there, so we got the experience. And so me and Teresa, we go out to our events. Obviously, we make sure you know everything's going good at the, the tent or with the girls that are working in the event. Say hi to them, see what's going on interaction-wise. But then we moved to the dance floor, our table. So at that point, we were up there. We were dancing, having a good time. We had some other friends up there. It was a good all-in-all -all experience. One, you get to listen to music and just chill out, right? Because even if you're talking, you're not, like, getting heard of everything you're saying. So you're not having, like, full-blown big conversations out there. And if you are, it's kind of hard to hear. So it's good, too, right? Because you're interacting emotionally, physically, right? So you might be touching each other, hanging, listening to music, swaying back and forth. You might be dancing. You're having a cocktail, <laughs> right? Uh, whatever it may be. So there's just different things that you can do to have fun. And, um, you know, with going and dancing, one, you're getting some exercise or activity. Cardio. Right? I mean, that was, that was my cardio for the whole week. It's awesome. Yeah. Right? You might calories. Feel like, yeah. Burning calories. You're burning calories. So, you know, that's, that's a benefit, right? Because, you know, any activity you do is going to be good for you. You're moving. You're grinding. You're having a moving good time. Moving and grooving. Moving and grooving. <laughs> right? Uh, you know, you might feel like a sweaty mess afterwards. Or in the oh, night, my God. But that's okay. That's where you go Thank home. Thank God take a he shower. still loves me for me. I mean, because I was, I mean, oh, I was real sweaty. I think it was sweaty, too. It was, you know, it just, yeah. when you're out, it was Florida, and because it, it didn't rain, the humidity was crazy. Yeah. So we had to be out there. It was obviously, it was it was, it was pretty humid out there. Yeah, so Ponytail City. It was, it was good, though. I mean, you've seen the crowd there, which is really cool. And you can see on the videos. It was a huge crowd there. I think it was like 3,000 people there, which was really, really amazing. And then Dom Dollar, it was just really good music. So, you know, 
have to like Dom Dalla, but you could like other music. You go to like maybe a, a country concert or a rock concert or whatever it is that you like. <laughs> R and B, you Not know, country. all these different things. I mean, and some concerts can get expensive, right? Let's, let's talk about that too. Well, like I mean, Taylor let's, Swift let's, and all that. But the whole big part on this, okay? So tell me. You know, when we revert back to the Cupid's corner portion of this, the couples portion, okay? Yeah. When you're up in this different setting because putt putt golf or whatever it is it's me and him yeah me him some clubs that's it there's nothing else going on we talk to each other now something you guys might need to master with each other because it's a very important and i think it does take time to do i mean me and john do it now without even thinking about it but it is something we've worked on over the years right so when you're surrounded in a group of people and you're still kind of together and you still want to hang out together, but you are still with other people where you're conversating with other people. Maybe you, you, he's talking to one person, I'm talking to another person, but at some point we meet back here to you know dance to a cool song that just came on. So it's like, it's, it, there's a happy balance in there and sometimes you, know, you can lose track of you know, the, day, the whole night and you're talking to all these people Everyone but your significant other, yeah. right? You remember back in the day, yeah. like way, way, way yeah. back in the day? And I'd be like, yeah, I was there. Like, and you know, you didn't talk to me like the whole night. And he's like, what do you mean? He's like, I was with you the whole time. And yeah, we were together, but you were talking to Tom, you know, Dick and Harry, not Sharice. So anyways, I feel like that's something jealous. that, <laughs> I, oh, I am green eyed jealous. <laughs> I will not, I will not say that I'm not because I am <laughs> um, but you know that's a little tip for you girls out there um, but yeah so I mean you got to learn to master that balance because if you do forget to you know hey listen I'm still with somebody out here let me pay attention to them too you have to sometimes think about it because you might get caught up in a conversation with somebody and you know you're talking and then you you know that you're not together the whole night but you are so I feel like I wanted to bring that up at least. That's good. It's a, it's important to that kind of important. be able to be able like you know recognize that you're out there with your significant other and you're there to share time, good time with other people maybe, but also with each other. The priority should be the date. Of course. A hundred percent. Of course. It should be, definitely be your partner, whoever you're taking on the date. You should be focusing on them, even if you're talking a little bit. You know, have the conversation, but think to yourself, all right, listen, what up. is she doing or what yeah. are they doing? Um, I want to make sure, you know, they're comfortable, Are they're having, having fun. fun. Yeah. That's the big one, right? Because, <laughs> you know, you want them to have fun. You want them to have a good experience. Because if it's a bad experience, they're not going to want to do it ever again. Yeah. Like, you know what? Like, last time, you, know, you just left me in the corner, and I was there by myself, and I, I felt like I was there. You were right over there, but you didn't pay no attention to me. Yeah, so you just hung out with friends all night. That's not good. And that's yeah. going to turn into a negative thing and yeah, a negative you experience. And you definitely don't want yeah. that. Yeah. I feel like I want to bring that up because... That is something that I feel that so there's couples that need to recognize that. I agree. Work on it and just get better at it. I and agree. that is something that when me and John first met, it was an issue. Yeah. Like, and that's why I'm bringing it up because we've been able to master it. Yeah. And it took time. You know, things don't happen overnight either. You guys got to be patient with each other. Communicate with each other. Because if you don't communicate, how are they supposed to know how you're feeling? Well, it's also a mutual respect thing too. Exactly. Um, you know, so in, in, when you're out, guys and girls, make sure you understand not everybody that comes up to you, you need to talk to, too, as well, <laughs> right? Because people will come up and try to start conversations with you, whether they're trying to hit on you, whatever it is. That'd be bad business. And that's not no good either, right? Yeah. That's, like, that's totally what you're not there for. Mm -hmm. You're totally there to have a great experience with the partner or the person you came with. Mm -hmm. That's what it should be about, making memories with them, having a conversation with them. You guys dancing have that, with them. That bonding experience, dancing together, and having a great time. Yeah. So you guys can have more future great times together. And this will build on that, I, I promise you. So, you know, as far as that goes, just make sure, like she said, keep your date priority, whoever it is. Yeah. Make sure you're looking back at them, even if you are, like, talking to this person. <laughs> like, you know, like, hey, I'll be there. He's learned. Come He's learned. I know what to do, right? You, <laughs> I know what to you do. You might not even be talking, communicating, but you're talking. Right? Yeah. One way yeah. or the other, you're communicating. Yeah, it's like eye right? contact. And you'll, you'll get these things over time, too, as you're with somebody for long extended periods of time. You'll start learning there's tells, there's signs, and you won't even have to say anything. Right. Like, you might even be able to tell, like, oh, they might be mad about something right yeah, now. Or like, they don't, they're not happy about something yeah. or whatever, you know. But it's cool we've gotten to a point where, you know, like, John will look over and he gives me, like, a little smile. And I'm like, 
you know, it's so cute. And then we eventually, you know, always end up back together. But, yeah. I mean, people obviously, I mean, who doesn't want to come talk to John? Everybody wants to come talk yeah, to John. Yeah, right. Everyone wants to talk to her. Everybody, yeah, but I'm not, I, I'm not as approachable as you. She's just too pretty. <laughs> so it is. She gets out of everything. I get out of everything. Because yeah, she's, she's too pretty. She's jinxing me. I'm not jinxing her about anything. <laughs> God made this one too pretty. That's the problem. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, listen. Pick your date nights wherever you guys want to, but experience some different things and experience things that will bring you guys together. And this will bring you guys together. Hopefully yeah. you guys are, you know, you guys can dance together, you guys can conversate together, you guys can listen to good music together, and that's awesome. Like, it's just a good, that's another good way to have just a clean, yeah. fun time. Good, right? wholehearted fun. And listen, don't incorporate drugs, alcohol, or anything like that. Yeah. You don't need to do you that. I know couples out there that will do that. One that might go out like a concert, so they get they get hammered, right? And that might not be a good experience for both of you guys. Yeah. Uh, I've seen you know different people where they can't control their alcohol, and they do stupid stuff, right? Like I've seen girls go out, get hammered, and whether they pull a top off or do something just out of character that yeah. they normally wouldn't do. Oh boy. I've seen things like that. And yeah. guys side the exact same thing. And then they wake things. up the next day and they're like, I have no idea what happened last night. So, so the date was just really just deleted. You know, so at that point, like, I'm not saying you can't have a cocktail or two, but don't get sloshed, right? Don't yeah. take a whole bunch of shots. Don't you know, get sloshed. Enjoy it. Enhance the mood. Enhance the time so you guys can enjoy later on that night you guys aren't fighting. And then the next day, remembering what, what happened. Like, that was a great right? night, right? You're like, what? For the great memories. We went out. <laughs> So we hope this helps you guys and hope you guys will go out and enjoy a concert or some sort of music and enjoy each other's time. That's it for Cupid's Corner this week, 11 a.m. ABC every Sunday. Me and this beautiful little woman over here will be coming at you, guys, with great tips, tricks, and information to help you guys. If you guys don't watch it live, don't worry, you guys can DVR it or go over to YouTube, type in Titan Medical Center, get to watch this Cupid's Corner and all the other episodes and all the cool content we have. So with no further ado, we are out, and we'll see you next week for another Cupid's Corner. See you then.